right, so to make a roof, what we have to make sure is that we're going to be on the proper level. So looking at our elevations, I'm going to look and say my roof is going to get built off of level two. So I'm going to then go to my level two. With my level two selected, I'm going to come up to my architecture tab, grab roof, grab roof by footprint. Then I'm going to make sure that I have an overhang of one foot, so I have an eave. And as I mouse over on my walls, there is a blue dotted line. That blue dotted line that's showing up, after you click the wall, turns purple. That's representing the edge of the roof. So as I work my way around, that purple line links up and cleans up. Now, the purple triangle that is represented on each one of these edges is telling me that that edge of the roof will be sloped. So this is going to have slope, this will slope, this will slope, and so will this. That's going to make, if I finish out this roof, that's going to make what is called a hipped roof. Notice how this is a hipped roof that all edges slope. We don't want to have a hipped roof. We want to have a gable end roof with this particular project. So to do that, I'm going to select the roof and I'm going to hit edit footprint. I'm now back into my edit mode for my roof. I know that I want this side of the roof to slope and this side to slope. So I'm going to come back and select the opposite side. And at the top on the green bar under the ribbon bar, I can uncheck the button that says define slope. So I uncheck define slope for that side, come over to this side, select the purple line, uncheck define slope. Then I can hit my green check and now our roof is what is called a gable roof. These, this end and the other side is the gable end. All right, to go ahead and add shingles to the roof and to add layers to the roof, just like we added layers to the floor and the walls, we're going to select the roof. We're going to come over to our properties. We're going to hit edit type. We're going to come and we're going to duplicate the name of the roof. So instead of this being a generic 12, I'm going to go ahead and highlight this and just call this shingled. I'm going to put in a W for width. It's going to be half inch sheeting and we'll use a 2 by 8 rafter okay hit OK and now it's renamed so I'm gonna have a shingled roof with half inch sheeting and a 2 by 8 rafter for my structural support Okay, after you have it renamed, come to the structure, hit edit. And this is where we need to build the values for our layers. We'll go ahead and we'll do the structural layer first. So I'm going to go in here where it says material, let that pop up. And we're going to have to go in and get a soft wood or a spruce pine for lumber. That's going to be our Joyce rafter structure. So I'll just go in here and put in here uh, Joyce or rafter. And there it is, structural wood, joist, rafter, layer, bat insulation. So we're going to go ahead and grab that, double click. And a 2 by 8 is actually going to be 7 and a quarter thick. So a 2 by 8 is 7 and a quarter in thickness. And then we're done that. We can go ahead and hit insert. And then our next structural layer is going to become our sheeting. So we'll go in and grab our sheeting. So plywood sheeting, and then we'll go ahead and make that a half inch thick. And then our next insert. The next insert is not going to be structural. This is actually going to be a finish because this is actually going to be a shingle. So we'll go ahead and pull down material. And we're going to go and we're going to find the shingle. Whoops. So it's asphalt shingles. Double click that. And we'll just make that a half inch thick as well. It varies because they're overlapped, but a half inch is a rough estimate. Once we have this, we can go ahead and hit OK. Go ahead back, hit OK again. And we should then see shingles applied to the exterior of the house. You now have a gabled roof with shingles on the exterior. To connect the gable end walls, 
select the end wall, select the button attach top base, and then select the roof. And you can see that your gable walls will clean up for you. We'll spin around the other side and do the same thing. Select the wall, attach top base, and select the roof. And that's how the roof is created. Hope that helps.